look first at the Acts chapter, um, so we can move on. And it said here in verse 26, And he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined a lot of periods and boundaries of their dwelling, that they should seek God and hope that they might feel their way toward him and find him, yet he is actually not far from each one of us. Now, if we go back to the Genesis passage, I'm going to show you something really um, interesting here. Is, um, all right, you don't have this, but in verse 11 of Genesis, and he's talking about the plants. Let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees bearing fruit which is their seed, each according to its kind on the earth. That word for seed bearing kind is race. Genetic. Genetic, right? So, this is what I'm going to do so we don't have a lot of time. This is why I want to be careful of culture here, because biblically speaking, race is primarily a biological distinction. It's the design, like the biological design of God for the, okay, look, look here, here we go now. If you look at it, it says in verse 26, let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, right? Now look at verse 28. And God blessed them, and God said to them, what? Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. It's the design of God for the fruitfulness of humankind. Okay? So, Adam, everybody wants to say, oh man, was Adam black or was he white? Like we argue over his race. Adam and Eve were the seed of humankind, right? They were the original seed for what reason? For fruitfulness, to bring out the human kind or kinds, right? Now, I want to make sure I'm being careful here with kinds. Um, what it means is it was God's design, it was God's DNA in Adam and Eve that they would bring forth different races of people because that's the way humanity was originally created to grow. The reason I want to make that clear to you is I don't want you to ever assume that race is something wrong or something went twisted or somebody went too close to the equator or somebody else stayed too close to Antarctica or somebody did something wrong. This was the way God designed humanity to be. The races you see out here, the skin hues you see out here, are a right functioning of what God originally designed in the garden. Race is the result of fulfilling the cultural mandate. It's the result of being human. Race is the result of being human. Go out. Have community. Have kids. Be human beings. And as a result, you get races of people. You get different skin colors, right? You get different looking people. And sometimes, because of the way in the Bible, in, in Acts it says, God sets up the national borders of people and boundaries and places in which they are to live. So sometimes people of the same skin color may say the same region, and so they perpetuate the same skin colors, right? So you, you kind of have that as a result of the way the world went out, sovereignly by God. We get in trouble when we begin 
to talk about why that happened that way outside of the sovereignty of God. 